Hi, today is Wednesday, August 21st. My name is Sheena Joy and I'm here to share three cards with you that I made over the last couple of days. Um, we just took a trip to Fredericton this past weekend. Really, really fun. I did make some cards uh, and gift holders for my niece Shayla and I'll post those on my blog. I actually couldn't do a video because I made them the night of my birthday before we left. All right, so these are the cards I made. One is a thinking of you card. Um, I used to craft cardstock for the base and I'll just show you a sheet of that paper. It's right here. It's just uh, an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And what I do is I just take my cutter and just cut down the center. That way you have two cards ready to go. Fold them in half and use them to the side or front folding. This is a side folding card here. Um, another thing that I used on this card was this beautiful blue and white printed paper. I got that from a paper package I have. I'll just show you just a moment. It's called K and C Company, or K and Company rather, and it's a poppy seed designer paper. And try to get it in full view. Beautiful, beautiful prints. I love these colors, and I find I've been going to this more and more. I did a uh, a card for my mom um, in that paper. So going back to the card, I used two blue buttons right here just to bring out the blue color. Uh, the Thinking of You sentiment I got from a Hero Arts stamp set that I have and a lot of nice sayings on this package. I just got this in Fredericton at Michael's. It's from Hero Arts and you can see the Thinking of You sentiment right here. I used Colorbox Pigment Archival Ink and the color is Espresso. Beautiful. The Espresso looks really really nice with that craft card stock. To the left of the card you can see I did a piece of um, craft cardstock and I heat embossed using a blue embossing powder. I'm just going to reach for it here. It's, um, it's from Recollections. It's an opaque embossing powder. The color is Periwinkle. And the stamp set that I used is from Recollections and it's this one down here in the corner and even though these are color they're actually clear when you put them on your acrylic block to stamp so just don't let those colors fool you um, also for heat embossing use the Versamark watermark stamp pad perfect for heat embossing and right here is the Martha Stewart a uh, heat tool. Um, that's a really good heat gun. I really like it and you can also use it to dry wet inks uh, for example if you stays on or something like that. So going on to the next card. Let's put that over here on the side. Um, again another kind of blue tones card. Um, for this one, I actually used a blue card uh, stock to emboss blue embossing powder on. <laughs> so I really want to see how tone on tone looked because I mentioned before about keeping up with trends and that is a trend as well. So I like how it really turned out. The actual embossing powder is a beautiful color. Um, have a little bit of troubles with possibly scorching the powder but I wrote to uh, Amy at Prairie Ink and 
paper and she's going to get back to me on that one. Um, I use this uh, Baker's Twine and I've shown you this before in other videos. It's Tim Holtz um, Ideology. I'm just fussing with the packaging right now. <laughs> It's right here, and there's the blue and white Baker's Twine. Really, really nice variety of colors that you have to choose from. So I'm going to try each one, and I've gone through about three colors so far with it. Let's get back to the card here. A nice little blue button to accent the blue color. And here I used a metal brad uh, saying, just try to, oops. I get up close here saying hello and those brads I've actually used the last of this package uh, so I only have the empty package to show you but it's from Studio G and I used a different stamp with this car I'm just looking on the table here to find it it's also from Studio G and I had gotten that at Michael's at a previous trip really good sale on this and just beautiful. I've used it for other cards as well. So I'm going to show you how this uh, opens. This is a side folding card and if I could just you could see, it's not side folding, I'm sorry. It's a different fold rather and use the brad to kind of hold it down, hold it together. I can't put it back together with just one hand but you get the idea hopefully. And just it's different to do um, various folds for your cards just have a variety and also just to challenge yourself too which I like to do alright so getting on to this middle card um, this is a sister card I used a lot of similar colors this card <laughs> took me a long time to do and I did it for my sister Lori. I know Lori actually doesn't watch my YouTube videos and she doesn't visit my blog. She's someone who works online all the time, uh, on the computer all the time. So on her off time, she doesn't go on much. So I'll, I can post this without her <laughs> knowing about it because right, right now she's traveling and I want her to get it when she comes back. Um, I'll just bring out the card a bit so you can see it. If you can see, it says sister, and I was really excited to do this card because I actually got a Cricut recently, and I'll put the Cricut in view here. There's the Cricut right there. And it's a mini Cricut, or a Cricut Mini, I'm not sure which way to say it, Cricut Mini, I believe. And you can see the little manual comes with. And really clear in terms of its uh, how to go about it. It has, just open it up for you, just has a numbered packages to go through. And tells you clearly how to go through everything. Oops, it's kind of falling over here. <laughs> um, so I really like it and what you do with a Cricut is, well I'm still finding out everything to do with a Cricut, but um, you use it in conjunction with your laptop or your PC and you make really beautiful cut images and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I used from the Cricut. The actual letters for sister were done with the Cricut and the flowers. These are all different pieces. I just kind of used dimensionals to um, put them together and have them pop out. Um, again, this flower too, the different pieces. The buttons obviously not. Um, I'll open up the card and I'll show you I did do some um, other cuts. Really proud of it. Doesn't want to open here. Okay. Sorry for the pause. Just getting to know the Cricut is something I'll continue to do for sure. 
So, okay, this also is a card that has a different fold in it. I actually originally started off making it this way and I still like the way it sits on the side. Um, just whichever orientation you're comfortable with. You see this kind of lattice um, piece of paper. I did cut that also using the Cricut, the flowers, the hearts, um, the heart rather, the XOXO was also from the Cricut, made with the Cricut rather. I did use a heart brad, this little white heart. And this is, you can hear Isaac there in the background. He wants to come back inside. He's outside with his dad. This is the package of brads that I used uh, with the heart. Just going back to this other little side panel here. I also use the Studio G metal brads here. This piece is also a uh, cut piece of paper that I used uh, the Cricut on. And just tied a nice little uh, ribbon piece here. And as I've mentioned before, I like to use Studio G. Sorry, I like to use Offre for my ribbon. For whatever reason, they just make, <laughs> they sit well, they make good bows, and they make nice knots. So, so hopefully Lori will really like that card. Uh, just some technical notes that I didn't mention before. Whenever I fold my cards and to score them, I use the Martha Stewart um, mini scoreboard. Just one moment, honey. I had mentioned bringing out the flowers, giving them dimension using pop dots. Um, I recently purchased uh, Tombow Mono Multi Glue. Makes such a big difference. The applicator is just like a, it's a pen up here, and it just made it easier to glue on those lattice type of cuts that I used here on uh, Lori's sister card. For a paper trimmer, use the Fiskars paper trimmer. And you can see on this card here, I did use a scallop punch. That's the scallop punch right here. It's an EK success. Also, you can see on the sister card that I have these little beautiful splashes or dots of color rather and those are from Ranger it's a Ranger product liquid pearls and the color is ruby red so those are the um, cards that I've been making recently I find card making to be really therapeutic and I really enjoy sharing them with you and happy that you've been watching my videos been getting really good responses please leave a comment on my youtube channel channel and or on my blog okay thank you very much have a good day